Okay guys, this is my existing spark box that I already have wired up, ready to go to chuck spark on things. So I'm gonna give you a rundown of how I do it and what it does. And then I'm gonna show you how to take one right out of the box and get it wired up like this so you can just use it. So to begin with, all of the greens are ground. And so we got the greens are ground. As you can see, I looped these two together and then you're gonna to wanna to hook this up to your battery. So what would be ideal and what you're gonna see me do in a bit, I'm gonna cut these and I'm gonna reconnect them into one unit that'll hook right up to where my ground is on my battery. This ground, is from the pulser, it's your green out of your pulser will hook up to this green right here. Blue and white hooks up to your red on your stator wires that come out to give you your spark signal. This is your pickup for the red on your pulser. Blue and white goes to red on your pulser. So that gives your signal for the ignition timing. Then we have another green that's still connected that comes off and goes to the ignition coil. So the ignition coil has a ground that's still attached to this loop, but is grounded this also needs to be attached to ground right here. So the black and yellow, black and yellow, that comes off of the CDI plug goes to your ignition coil and that's what gives you spark, okay? The red and black is for DC power on this. It has to be hooked up to a 12 volt battery do not hook this up to AC. If you hook it up to AC, you're gonna fry the CDI box and you're gonna to have to buy a new one. Make sure you hook this up to 12 volt battery. So that's the spark box itself. This is more or less what it looks like when it comes out of the box. The only thing I have done already was cut a heat shield off of these wires right here Okay, it's just so you guys could see the wires better. So what I do is this black and white is a kill switch and I don't need it on my assembly because I have a different kill switch set up factory. So I remove the black and white there, which I'll do in just a second. And then I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. So this is what it looks like now. I'm gonna have to set the camera down to do it and I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. I'll be back. All right guys, once you get the uh, black and white popped out of both of these plugs, okay? The next one you're gonna take out is the green out of both of the plugs too. But first, pull the black and white wire out of your way. So it will pull out of here now, it just takes a little bit. So you should have a black and white wire that looks like that pulled out of the unit. That's the kill switch, you don't need it. So, you pop the plugs off of these two next and get the greens isolated, all right? So once you get the two greens isolated, you're going to plug them into each other. And that will give you that connection right there. So I'm gonna do that real quick. See, it is connected. Now, we have the ignition all set up to be plugged in to the wire harness. Okay, so now we have a spark box that's set up just like that. And the only thing I haven't done is hooked our green and black and yellows together. I'm gonna do that right now, and I'll be right back with you. And there you have it. 
we have a brand new spark box put together. So that is step one, guys. Once you have it like this, then I will show you the next step to get it hooked up onto the KLT. I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back with you. So on my KLT, because it's a true 84, my red and green are actually two black wires, those bastards. So I have mine marked red and green. I know it's kind of hard to read, but this is red, this is green. So what that means is this red one is going to plug into the blue and white, okay, on the spark box. The green one, gonna make it really hard for you guys, is gonna plug into the green one on the spark box, okay? So that takes care of your spark signal into your CDI box, which will take care of the spark signal going out of the CDI box. The only other thing you need to do then is take this black and red wire and hook it up to battery. So if you hook this up to a battery and you hook this up to ground, remember, you're going to have a running engine. That's all you need. Ground, power, red on the ignition stator plug, green on the ignition stator plug. And again, those are the red and green that come out and go into your CDI normally. So normally these two would plug into your CDI. You're going to remove them from the CDI and you're going to plug it into the blue and white and the green. That's about it. Other than that, take this and mount it <clears throat> where the other one mounted so it's grounded because this also needs to be grounded to the system. But other than that, if you have all of that grounded down, you will have a running engine. And if you give me a minute, I'm going to get all this hooked in again to my wire harness and I will tell you what wire I tap in to get 12 volts to this wire right here. But if you just wanted to test it, 12 volt, ground on your battery, okay? That's the two that are connected together. Ignition red, ignition green, okay? Can't make it any simpler than that. I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I don't know what it's gonna be on your guys' wiring harness. But on an 84, the wires I'm going to use to power my CDI is going to be this for power, which is a red and yellow. And the black and yellow is going to be ground. All right. So this is going to get plugged into my ground, which is the two wires here. Okay. And that'll hook up ground. And this is going to go to the black and red, and that will give me 12 volts to here. So if you do that, that's how you hack into the wire system. Everything else is taken care of via the red and green plug and the CDI, okay? So once I get this all wired up, I'll give it a test run. You guys can see it running and uh, we should be good. Okay guys, so I pulled out the CDI and the ignition coil that I had hooked up. Okay, again, I'm tapping into this wire and this wire here for ground and power. I have my ignition CDI hooked up 
ready to go. So there's my ground into one connector now. My power is in one connector now. And my blue and white and ground are in a plug that'll plug into my red and green plug. I use these waterproof plugs, but any plug will do. And your red and green plug that's normally on here will not look anything like this. But that's what I like to use because they're waterproof and they stay together real nice. And they seem to work pretty well. So, uh, that's what we got going. I'm going to put all of this in place, get everything hooked up, and give her a crank. Okay, guys, here we go. Got the CDI coil just in place right now. I got all the wires just dangling here because I haven't actually put it all in. I just wanted to show you guys. Turn the key on. There's the neutral light. There we go. And there you go. It all revved out. And it is running mean and lean, I think, now. <laughs> But uh, that's my problem with carbs. So there you go. There's a little tutorial for you guys. How to wire in a new aftermarket CDI onto the KLT 200.